another Bali vlog. This is my last Bali vlog. It's so crazy, I was here for two months. We only have a few days left. I have so many beauty appointments lined up before I leave, so this is gonna be a little glow up vlog. I just wanna get all this stuff done while I'm still in Bali because it's so cheap here and the services are so good. So that's why I lined up so many things and it'll be fun. I mean, I love going to beauty salons. It's like my favorite activity. You just get pampered the whole time. Today I'm getting a pedicure. That's my beauty appointment of the day. I can't even show you my toes. They need some love. I'm making some breakfast for Luke right now. He's been obsessed with this like ground chicken egg dish that I make. And then I need to make something for myself. back home my toes look so good i'm so happy there's something about a fresh pedicure that literally is like just so satisfying it makes me feel so clean because they like scrub all the dead skin off and like just make everything look so nice i ended up getting french and it just looks amazing i love getting french because then i they can like grow out and not look as noticeable and then i just like clip them and i really only get a pedicure like once every like one to two months very low maintenance with it so it felt really good to get do that and then i just showered i didn't wash my hair in so long and i'm doing my skincare right now it's like so early it's like 4 30 p.m and i'm like getting ready for bed because i'm so tired i did not sleep well last night i had like the worst insomnia my therapist base is based in the u.s so i have to meet with her at like really late at night for me and then I was just having a really emotional session, so it was like hard for me to like wind down. And then Luke was also working late, so we and didn't go to sleep until like 1.30 a.m. I probably didn't fall asleep till 2 a.m. because I like still had insomnia. And and then at 6 a.m. like there's just like lizards and stuff crawling around. Like as soon as the sun rises here, like there's just noises that start happening. So it's really hard to sleep in. So at like 7.30, I got woken up. So I really only got six hours of sleep, which most people can do, but I cannot. I need like eight to 10. I, I feel like a zombie right now. When I get like under seven hours of sleep, I actually can't function. My brain like doesn't work. I was trying to be productive at the nail salon. You're obviously there for like an hour and a half. And so it'd be nice to like do work on my phone, but my brain was not working. I start to feel like almost like lightheaded and dizzy when I go to sleep. So I had to get Luke to pick me up. Usually I walk home and he had to come pick me up. So I just, I'm just not doing my best today. So I just want to get to get to bed so early tonight and I'm just kind of done with the day. Like I feel like my productivity is just out the window. The only thing I can really do is just take care of myself. I stopped in a shop today on my way to Pilates and was just kind of browsing around for Christmas presents and I saw that they carried The Ordinary, which I have not seen this brand the entire time I've been in Indonesia. And I got so excited because this niacinamide is like really good for my acne prone skin. Every time I use this like consistency, it really clears my skin up. Of course I had to buy it. It was a bit marked up, but it was still pretty cheap because I mean, The Ordinary is just like very... Very affordable skincare brand. Just washed my face, did my Dr. Dennis Gross daily peel, and then some retinol. And now I'm putting niacinamide. Niacinamide and retinol will go really well together. And then I'll do a moisturizer on top. You guys, I have had some irregular period lately. It's like a week late. It was also two weeks late last month. When I first got to Bali, I like wasn't getting my period. I started taking Vitex Berry and then I got it after taking it for two weeks, I got my period back. You're supposed to take it for like eight to 12 weeks, but I didn't really know that. I just finished my bottle of like 30 capsules. When it came time to get my period the next month, I didn't get it. So I think I need to stay on these. I just bought a new bottle here. 
and hopefully my period comes back because I mean a regular period is just not a good sign so hopefully that comes back I always take a pregnancy test when I miss my period and it was obviously negative so we don't have to worry about that part but we do want to get my period back I'm trying to take my Vitex I mean I don't really know what else to do like I feel like my stress is very low already so I don't know how I can prove that I feel like I eat really healthy I don't know I'm hoping this Vitex brings me back but I've been laying in bed for hours which is so out of character for me I don't I didn't want to nap because I didn't want to mess up my sleep schedule even more so I just decided to stay awake and I've just been like doing emails which is like the lowest level of brain work for me just made some dinner for myself I made little chicken burgers and on top of some green sprouts I, I made these pickled onions a couple days ago they're so good cherry tomatoes and some mustard just like super simple healthy dinner today I was like so rushing this morning I didn't really have time to get the camera but I went to Pilates I had insomnia last night again which was so bad even though I went to sleep at 8 I took melatonin I woke up three hours later I was awake for three hours and then I slept finally fell back asleep at like 2 a.m. I just made lunch I want to show you before I dig in I did a quarter avocado I do like half a cup of ground chicken and then some lettuce, mustard, and cucumbers. I feel like when I'm traveling, I eat a bit more random than I do at home, but this is still a balanced meal and whole foods are delicious. This will make me feel so good. I'm like so hungry right now because I didn't really have time to have much breakfast this morning before my Pilates class. I like woke up really, really late and then we ran to Pilates and then I had a nail appointment right after because my nail appointment's right next to my Pilates place. So I lined it up to be right after. And guys, look how cute. I got the same exact shape and color as last time. It's just like a very see through ish, like nudie white kind of color. And then I had her do a little bow. It's like a little iridescent bow, it's 3D on the ring finger. I've never gotten like 3D like gems or anything on my nails, but this place is literally called 3D Nails, so they're like known for that. So I like just wanted to try it and just do something super simple because I feel like if you go overboard with it, it looks like a bit too much. I like my nails better whenever I get like the neutral, more of like a neutral nail. But that was the beauty appointment of the day. Just got home. I literally just get so beaten up by the heat here. Like every time I come home from my little outing, my morning outing i'm like so toast for the rest of the day i made a dinner reservation tonight at this place that looks really fun they do one seating a night and it's like they put on kind of like a show i mean i've never been before this is just like what i've heard and everybody sits at one table so it's like a bunch of strangers at this one big table it would require like being social because we're gonna be sitting next to all these strangers and i don't know if i'm really up for that that would be the why we don't go tonight Maybe we'll just do like a date night, the two of us. I've got some of my little oat bars in the oven that I was... Probably, I think I showed you guys maybe in the last vlog. I made them blueberry this time. I tried some of the batter and it's so good. And I just got a few packages, which is so surprising. I mean, I'm on this tiny island, like on the other side of the world. So whenever something arrives to me from a brand, I'm like actually genuinely surprised that it got here safely. So I just got three packages. I think these were like long lost packages because my management told me that these were coming like ages ago, but they finally arrived. So let's see what it is. I got something from Mistress Rocks. I think I'm working with them on TikTok. Wow, this is gorgeous. Such high quality corset. It's got like a built-in bra that's supposed to peek out a bit. I got a bunch of sets because 
sets are just the easiest thing to style so i got this like olive green skirt and this skirt goes with the corset looking really high quality i don't think i've actually ever ordered something from mistress mistress rocks now that i'm thinking about it and then this is the matching top that goes with the green skirt i think i'll wear these tonight i just talked to luke and he's still down to go to the dinner so i think we're gonna do it i'm gonna get over my social anxiety and just try my best and try to have fun <laughs> and then i got something from house of cb which i wasn't expecting anything from them i got my stuff from them like a month ago oh this was supposed to come like a month ago but it's finally here it's like a gorgeous pink dress wow this is beautiful i got another package from mistress rocks Ooh, this is cute it's like a little dress like gray and black it almost is giving like lingerie vibes and finally this is all stuff from their fall collection so it's all like very dark colors which i'm usually a light color person but these colors are very gorgeous i tried to pick out stuff from their fall collection that i still could wear in warm weather because i'm obviously in bali where it's very hot so i got a lot of dresses and let's try one this is the olive green long sleeve dress. I love this silhouette. It's so in style right now, like the tight waist and then like the A-line skirt. It's so cute. It's a bit wrinkly, so I don't know if I can wear this because I would need like an iron or steamer or something, which I don't have. But this will be so cute for the holidays. Like I, I can wear this like for Thanksgiving or Christmas because it's like that cute green color. I'm really loving this one. This one is also a Mr. Schrock's one. It's the gray with the black lace. It's definitely giving October vibes. Halloween, which it is Halloween, so this might be the one I wear tonight because it's definitely appropriate for Bali weather. I'm loving this one. This is my favorite so far. This is the House of CB one, which I am obsessed with this one. This like little trail, and it's just very flattering. I love House of CB dresses because I just feel like they're built so well and they really flatter like a woman's body. So this is a win. I love the ruffles. I think I'll wear this in Dubai. That's actually where we're going after this next week. I don't know if I've told you guys that, but we're going to go to Dubai for two weeks. So this would be a fun like date night outfit in Dubai. This one is a Mistress Rock set and I'm really loving it. It's very comfy and color just makes me happy it's like that olive green color it's so comfy i love the skirt it's got that same ruffle like thing on it which i feel like just hugs the curves nicely i love it though it's so cute okay and this is the last outfit this one is mistress rocks as well and i really love this one this one's got like the the double like bra and then corset on top of it and it's so flattering it felt really tight at first but now i see why because it's a corset so it's obviously supposed to snatch you in but it's so flattering and then the skirt just goes right on top of it so i'm either gonna wear this one or the gray one tonight because i just need i need my armpits to be out guys it's like so hot here and filmed a TikTok for Mistress Rocks in this one and the gray one that I said I was gonna wear. So hopefully that turns out good. I wasn't sure if the lighting was good, but we'll see later. I just tried because I figured I'm getting ready anyways for dinner, so might as well do my TikTok for them. I don't have a spray tan on, so I'm very pale, which I don't really like, but other than that, we're vibing. This is such a cute like fall transition dress. Just like tidying up the house a bit and made Luke a little snack. We'll probably leave in like an hour for this dinner thing. Literally, I'm getting social anxiety for it, which is so bad. It just goes to show how much I don't socialize with people, especially in Bali. Like, just feel so isolated. I haven't seen like anyone, not even like my friends or anything in so long. And my social anxiety gets worse when I spend more time alone. So right now, it's pretty bad. Once I get there, I know everything will be smooth and it's not like 
and I always have Luke. It's Saturday night and we deserve to have a nice fun dinner out. It's been a while because Luke's been sick, as you guys know, for so long. So this is our first time like doing something fun in forever. Limoncello is our classic digestive. So it's made with uh, lemon zest, sugar, and vodka. That's it. single flavor of homemade ice cream besides Oreo ice cream which just you know happens to be my favorite along with millions of Americans. It's fine I got a salted caramel triple thick milkshake. They put like seven scoops of ice cream in there. A little bit of milk will blend that shit up. to lunch moment of the day so I'm looking on the menu and obviously looking for something with protein in it. and I come across the mango protein bowl and so like I asked smoothie. yeah so I asked them I'm like okay well it doesn't say that it has protein powder in it does it have protein and they're like yes it has banana in it. isn't that a saying so cute with the cherry on top pretty pleased with the cherry on top very good job that's so, that is the worst matcha I've ever had at Nana Jingle. If we could just add sweetener to it. Good to know, yeah? Yeah. I'll get the vanilla syrup. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I want it. Come to think of it, this place is just a vibe. The food is like not it. My matcha was the worst matcha I've ever had in my life. Maybe this simple syrup will save the day. about matcha is if it's really high quality you don't need anything like I can drink if it's like high quality matcha powder I can drink it with just water and it's like amazing. Yes the AA plus ceremonial grid. Triple organic reverse osmosis ceremonial grid. Triple filter. We're in this Holy mm -hmm. wow thank you. Luke's French toast. Now this actually That's looks... That's a giant piece of bread. Yeah. Like, think about the low fat. Mm -hmm. And we got some doggy neighbors. <laughs> Luke's gonna get his hair washed. He's face wearing this kimono. Luke and I are at a spa right now. He's getting double... double massage. I think he's got like a... Back How was it, babe? It's so good. Did you get your kink out? I don't know, it's hard to tell. I know, it always is. Yeah. Well, I haven't moved around much. Oh, you got ginger tea too? Well, we were supposed to go home, but then we hop on the scooter and our battery's dead on the scooter because I fucked up. But I got another latte, which I really needed because I'm not feeling so hot today. I had two limoncello shots last night. At the restaurant last night, it was like free limoncello all night. Like if they give you an empty shot glass at the beginning of the night and then all night, they're just pouring you limoncello shots if your glass is empty. And I ended up having two shots. I like poured them in sparkling water and made like a little cocktail out of it. And I broke my own rule of having like one alcohol per night. 
because I wake up today and I'm like just not feeling well. So I'm learning my lesson. I can literally have one drink and that's it. Slightly hungover. You know that like feeling where you're just kind of like not fully functioning. That's me today. Bye, babe. Fifth outing. I know it's crazy. We just got the guy to come turn on our car for us. I feel I felt bad. This is the second time that we've done it. But the last one was like three weeks ago, so at least it was like a big gap in between. It was two weeks. I got here before Luke, so I sat down and, and ordered a a drink because we're just sitting across the street and we need to leave the scooter on for 30 minutes so it can like recharge. It's similar to like a car dying. If you've ever had a car die, you need to restart it with the jumper cables and then you need to leave it on for like 30 minutes. So we're just waiting for it to like charge the battery up. I got this blue spirulina latte because I just needed something to drink. And we're just on a drink tour today. What is that? A mango banana turmeric smoothie. Some coffee and matcha. I got no milk in mine. I got two coconut waters and a latte. Feeling so, so tired. I've been getting the worst sleeps. I'm not sure what's going on. I think it's the full moon. How does that have anything to do That's with it? That's what Cass and I decided. Did you know that a woman's menstrual cycle is called a moon cycle? It's based on the cycle of the moon. Really? Yeah, that's why it's every 30 days. But then why does why does every single woman have like it at different times of the month? You got me there. <laughs> I've wondered that too, right? Could you imagine? Every woman had their period the same time. That'd be hilarious. It would be it like- It would be marked on guys' calendar. Yeah, it would. Men, men would plan boys' trips. <laughs> like, like around that right, week. Right, girls would plan like girls' retreats it together. Would be like, it would be like Vegas, <laughs> Vegas week. That's the, probably the worst thing you could do when like all the girls are on their period. They would be like crying and like- <laughs> No, like, they would stock the fridge with, like, ice cream and shit during that week. Babe, there's so many things about the moon and not being able to sleep. Like, Cass and I have done a full deep dive on, like... You guys have been going down it, the it, It's a blood moon. moon. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. It's means. crazy. It's explains so much of what's going on in our lives. Really? Yes. No way. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah, it's like, it all seems so crazy right now, but don't worry, it'll settle down. When does a blood moon happen? Like, how often does a blood moon happen? I don't know. Well, I may get to work because it's Monday. Okay, I'm gonna head to body soon. Thanks for the much today. Today, but I went to my facial at this place called Anaya Aesthetics. I did a lot of research and it seemed like the best place to get a facial. They also do a bunch of like filler and so many aesthetic treatments, but I was mostly looking to get a facial because I'm not really a facial girl, but I got one a month ago and I was obsessed with it. Like I feel like for how into skincare I am, you'd think I'd be into facials. But I always was very scared of them because I thought that they would break me out more because I just didn't know like what products they were using. But like if you go to a trusted place, they use really nice products. Usually it turns out good. And if you get, a, especially if you get a facial that's like meant for acne. So I messaged this place and I was like, what uh, facial do you recommend for acne? And it seemed really promising. So I went and it was a bit far away. It was like 20 minutes away. But I was obsessed. Like the... This place was stunning, first of all. 
So we decided to get a Biologic research research. I'm say I'm totally butchering that name, but it's a skincare brand and I've been hearing a lot about this brand lately. I don't know if they've I mean apparently they've been around for forever, but I'm just now hearing like that people are obsessed with this like one product they make. I don't know. I've just been hearing things about it. So when she said that, I was like, okay, yeah, let's try it. And I was obsessed, like really, really high quality products they have. And the specific facial I got wasn't, didn't involve any steam or extractions. It was just massage, facial massage and a bunch of different products on my face. And my face looks a lot better than it did before my facial. I took like a before and after video of my face and I was like shocked when I look in the mirror because usually after a facial, my skin is all red from the extractions and it's like looking so bad. But this did the exact opposite. It like calmed my skin down and I'm really happy with how it went. Now I wanna try to find a place that does a biologic research facials in san diego and get one next month i want it to be like a monthly thing for me because it literally was so therapeutic also not only is it like great for your skin obviously but i passed out it was 90 minutes and i literally like was so relaxed the way that she was massaging my face just like put me to sleep it was such a treat so i kind of want to do this every month as like a little treat to myself and maybe my skin will see some good improvements too i mean the best treats you can give yourself are the ones that keep on giving, right? Yeah, that was my beauty treatment of the day. You can see my skin is definitely like looking a lot more calm. Obviously, I still have like my red spots from my current acne that I'm dealing with, but overall feels and looks really good. I just took a shower and put on this outfit. This sweater is making me so happy. It's from Andy Bagus, they sent me a bunch of, of their sweaters and like loungewear. Some linen pants, which have been my favorite lately. They've been at the dry cleaners because I don't, I'm just afraid to like wash these. So I've been dry cleaning them. And then once they're at the dry cleaners, they take a while to get back. So I would literally wear these like every day if I could. I will get even wear these in the winter. Like imagine this same outfit with like Ugg boots. It's a vibe. Just waiting for Luke to get back and then I think we're gonna go grab some dinner. I'm like really not in the mood to cook tonight and since we're leaving in two days, we don't really have much food anyway, so I'd have to do a grocery order and I think we're just gonna grab some food from this one place that makes really healthy stuff. It's so pretty out right now, it's like golden hour. Our little yard area, it's so relaxing. I think I'm gonna sit out on the hammock and do some computer work right now. Ginger too, please. Thank you. Yum. Thank you. We each got like a build your own bowl. We got a big protein plate. I got a little bowl with chicken, beets, and pumpkin. Just been editing a TikTok for the past bit and about to crawl into bed. It's really early, it's like 8.30, but I'm thinking maybe I should try to fall asleep now and actually get a good night's sleep tonight. So I got my little setup. Got the night light going there and then my little book. I've been reading this book for forever, but I am almost done. I pretty much finished it last night, but now there's just like the like kind of like after bits that I'm probably gonna read tonight. And then I'm all done with this book, which is such a good feeling because it was a pretty thick one. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. This is like a classic self-help book i love personal development books it's like the only type of books i like to read and this one has some like really good gems in it it's a bit boring but that's kind of what i like to read before bed because it really 
honestly makes me sleepy and that's why it takes so long for me to read because I'll only read like 10 minutes a day. But once I finally finish, it's such a good feeling. today actually 4 p.m it's like pretty late but i went to pilates and i got my lashes lifted and tinted at one of my favorite spas here i actually don't like how they did it you know when you wear a waterproof mascara and you don't you can't fully get it off with makeup remover so the next morning you wake up with like black stuff like in your lash line like that's what this looks like to me I get beauty treatments and I don't like them or like my hair done and I don't like it or something I like start to cry and it's just like embarrassing and then yeah I'm, I'm like always honest too when they ask like if they ask me how it was I tell them like I don't like it but I just had no patience to like there was such a language gap like barrier going on that like they just didn't really understand they're like what do you mean like your lashes are tinted and curled and i was like yes but they just look weird and they didn't understand what i was saying so i just like laughed and was like whatever maybe tomorrow or in a couple days it'll like cool down a bit you live and you learn yeah i mean i don't know it could just i could all just so just be like in a weird mood today i like feel like i'm having like weird like mood roller coaster today i don't know what's going on so maybe i'll feel better tomorrow i just got a package delivered from amy jane and this is like the most ultra femme brand they make like literally the girliest princess dresses ever the their aesthetic is just so so girly and i love it and they've gifted me some stuff before and i posted on instagram because i loved the dress so much that they sent me so they sent me a new dress that was like a few months ago kind of gingham and pink it's got like these little bows all over it it's got like ruffles and frills and it's like a mini dress looks so cute their stuff their dresses are such nice quality better too big than too small right so this is cute I'm definitely gonna wear this in Dubai, which we're leaving tomorrow, which is so crazy. I think I might start packing a bit today. We don't leave till tomorrow at, our flight's not till midnight tomorrow. So I really have all day tomorrow to pack too, but I might just get a head start on it today. Okay, wait, update on this dress. It's so darling and it's so flattering. Like the waist just really hugs in and then the ruffles add some nice curves going on i'm totally gonna wear this new vibe i'm picturing like little white heels i'm doing a photo shoot there so i'm thinking this could be like a cute outfit for that or just like a cute dinner outfit i've started packing so i made a pile of things that i for sure i'm gonna bring to dubai like all my nice dresses and stuff that i didn't get a chance to wear here and then i have like all my loungewear and then some pjs couple airport outfit options. I need to figure out what I want to wear on the flight. I have a whole pile of things that I'm going to not bring with me. I do this every trip. I literally purge so much. It's just because I thrift a lot. I get gifted a lot of things. So I feel like overall I don't really spend that much on clothes. And so I don't really mind just like getting rid of things if I'm not into them anymore or if they have a stain on them or something. Which it helps too because I feel like when you go on a trip you accumulate all this stuff and then I want to make sure my luggage is not overweight. So it kind of means I have to get rid of some things. That's the current packing situation. Oh! Off to dinner! Yeah, this is a great taco spot. Whoa, you can sit up there. Yeah, let's do that then. Definitely an Asian seating. Are you comfy? You don't look very comfy. Let's do a table bit. I feel like it's yeah. Taco and a taco salad. Taco salad. Yeah. Can I put a drink? 
Uh, sparkling water. Sparkling water with ice, yeah. And lime. And lime. Yeah. This drink tastes even better than it did a couple days ago. There's so many things that I need more knowledge around. We've ordered six tacos. We got shrimp, chicken, and steak. Yes, it looks very nice. Thank you. I feel like my hair has grown so much since I just got it cut a few weeks ago. I just got a blowout and I feel like a new person. That is a life hack. I feel like I'm becoming a blowout girl. Especially with this haircut, This a blowout makes such a difference with how my short hair looks. It just is like night and day. I actually ran out of conditioner. It just made more sense for me to like get a blowout than buy a whole new thing of conditioner since we're leaving today because I definitely needed to wash my hair. It was so dirty. A whole wash and blow dry was literally $12. So it just made so much sense in my head to get it done. And I just did it on my way home from Pilates. So it was like, literally took no time. It was like, only took like 20 minutes for them to do my head because I don't have that much hair. I feel like Kit, the American Girl doll. Did you guys have American Girl dolls as a kid? Because I had Kit, which is literally like the blonde girl with freckles who had like a bob. It, like I always wanted Kit's hair. I remember when I was like really young, I got my hair cut like this because I wanted to be like Kit. And I feel like I still have that same desire in me. She has like strawberry blonde hair. And that's what color my hair was when I was younger. And freckles. She was like a Great Depression era doll. A few hours later, I've been packing like a crazy person. We're all ready to go now. It's 8.30, our flight's at midnight. Our driver's here and it's so crazy that we're leaving Bali finally. We've been here for two months, so it feels so crazy that we're leaving. Like it's gonna feel weird to be at the airport. Like we haven't been there for two months, but I'm really excited. I feel like our time here is up. Like Luke and I are both excited to leave. So it's like perfect timing. Got my two personal items all packed. I literally always bring a tote bag and a backpack plus my carry-on luggage. And no one ever says anything. So I'm able to like bring so much stuff with me. And then we have so <laughs> literally so much stuff. We had to get a suitcase delivered. So we're just kind of waiting for the suitcase to get delivered so that we can put all of like Luke's extra stuff in there. Baby, in Bali, you can literally buy anything and get delivered straight to the house. I put a pin on the map, luggage, just a in a random place. I just knew the place where it was luggage. I'm like, look for a black luggage case. And then I got, I negotiated with them over. Okay, not too bad, hey? That's sweet, babe, yeah. We each get two free checked luggages anyways, and we only had three. There's not be any extra cost for us to bring this extra luggage. Mm -hmm. 